Hello, this is Long Island Outdoorsman, and today we're going to be talking about the Vanstall VSX2, which is this one right here. It's an improvement on the previous model, similar to more modern fishing reels. Uh, it has a skirted. What is this? Um, it's a skirted spool, so there's no rotor cup. So this was this is the older style Vanstall right here. You can see it has this like bowl shaped rotor cup, which can trap sand, even though it's ventilated. Um, there's still a tight tolerance between the outer diameter of the spool and the rotor cup, which could catch sand. So this is a more like modern skirted school design that you see on most spinning reels, but in a van stall. Yeah, it's, again, the design of it is similar to the traditional VRs, but it's uh, a fully machined aluminum body. It's fully sealed. And also another advantage, which is kind of nice, is that it also has this, uh, ball handle which a lot of people have been asking for especially since these older reels or these uh the vsx's have a bit more differently shaped handles or that the um the vrs traditional vrs have you know the more plastic like handle now another thing too is that most people who are using these fully sealed reels usually use them on the beaches and stuff you can use them because they're good dealing with sand they're good dealing with salt but a lot of people have been taking the larger sizes similar to this size if you, this is a 250 but Oh yeah, 200, 200, 250, those sizes are going to be good for jigging and popping. If you're going for tuna, you can use these sizes as well for striped bass off of boats. You could even use the smaller sizes for like sea bass and stuff. Like these reels go down all the way to the 50 size, which looks like this. Yeah, that'd be good for like an eight foot or maybe a, a nine foot surf fishing rod or... Um any boat rod even you can even use it for anything inshore as long if you if you take yeah eight foot rod and you're fishing mostly inshore with small diamond jigs or you just like small like even some spinners, seven foot rods yeah yeah it would actually absolutely be perfect with a reel this size so that's a 50 it's a 50 so this is a size comparison ranging between a size 50 up to a size 250 Normally, too, we try to keep all the, the sizes in stock for the VSX2s, the VSXs, and the VRs. So like we mentioned before, the smaller sizes, like this one, which is the VSX2 size 50, I currently have it on a 7-foot Magic Tails rod. I think it's only 1 to 4 ounces, and it fit absolutely perfectly on that. And that you could use for casting, you could use that for jigging, um... And overall, proportionally, I mean, it, it fit really nicely on the rod. Now, this one is the size 250, and I believe that's on an extra, extra heavy Tsunami 12-foot rod. And same thing, it fit absolutely wonderfully on that rod as well, in terms of the weight, in terms of size. And uh, these larger reels, too, especially, they lend themselves to surf fishing as well. So this is a size comparison between the size 50 bailed and the size 250 bailless. The 250 isn't the largest size that they make. They actually make it up to a size 300 reel. Like you saw though, we only have a couple currently in stock. If you are looking to get one, please consider going on to the store, going into the store or going onto our website and seeing what's in stock or contacting us to order one if you'd like.